Brian F did an amazing analysis of the Ed gameplay trailer. I highly recommend you go and watch that. Link for that video will be in the description. But because of that video, it actually inspired me to go back and really look at what's happening during the trailer. Now, this isn't going to be a crazy in-depth like Brian F. This is just a few things that I have noticed. And let me just say, it seems like Luke and Ken and DJ are going to be no longer the worries. It honestly seems like Ed is coming for that top one spot. And during this video, I'll explain why, of course. But if you like this video, please subscribe, my comment down below, leave a like. I like doing videos like this. Very fun. But of course, here's the Brian F video. Like I said, it will be in the description below. But the one thing about Ed... Right, as we go through this, I'm going to be showing examples in the game. So you might be hearing Kimberly in the back. The one thing I wanted to talk about was that Ed doesn't... Ed might have a standing low. And from that, like right here, so boom. That looks like a standing low. Now, is it a standing low? I don't know. Because on, of certain characters like Kimberly, where if you see her... Her standing light kick looks like it hits low, but if you look up there, it says attack type high. The same goes with Dalsum. I'd actually, you know, I, I lab against certain characters, like certain moves, but I didn't know that Dalsum's crouching medium punch or um, like his crouching medium punch wasn't a low. I don't know why I thought that. I thought that was a low. Uh, his standing light kick's not a low. His standing medium kick's not a low. The only lows he has is his crouching heavy punch and all of his crouching kick buttons. But this is very important because obviously when you do a low within Street Fighter 6, um, with most characters, right, you have to crouch first, right? So you're crouching, the opponent knows that you're going to be going for a low. But with Ed, I don't think Ed doesn't crouch because Ed doesn't use his legs. So if Ed has a standing crouch button in neutral, which later will come back to this um, crouch button, um, if Ed has a standing crouch button, that's really bad for the opponent because they might, because, you know, shimmies are going to work a lot different. Because if you try to shimmy somebody and they're crouching, you quickly, you know, can just hold down back to try to punish them trying to shimmy you with a crouching medium kick. But with Ed, if he's standing, you don't know what button he's going to do, which is very important. Also, the crouching medium, I'm, I'm assuming the, the flickers are his kicks and his punches are his punches. Um, the crouching medium kick is... Uh, does go into a target combo. The next thing I want to talk about, which was very important, is when it fighting. comes to when he's fighting the Ken player. Also, this mechanic is very important. The 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 holding of the of the snatch it gives very good Luke vibes. Now, what I'm saying is, I feel like Ed is an upgrade to Luke. Depending on what his damage output might be, it looks like Ed might be Luke's just upgrade. Because he has everything Luke has. This is also very important. This is also very important. Kimberly, Kimberly, let's start fighting. You're right, Kimberly. Let's start fighting. Is Ed doesn't seem to need Drive Rush to do most things within this video. It looks like they're making sure Ed has meter. This is an ugly face. They're making sure Ed has meter for... um. For his combos because he constantly and we'll talk about this again later he constantly is whatever he has any sort of advantage he does his command dash or you know his his inner sway he does that which can lead i think they're trying to show that after this right after uh you know after the first command uppercut he can then command uppercut again for a meaty like everything in this video capcom is showing is for a reason it is for a reason. And there's, you know, there's the sway. Like I said, DJ, right? DJ is a very good sway, but Ed might have a better sway. Luke has a very good sway. Ed might have a better sway. Here's the level one where he breaks the Z axis. He's broken. Now, what I really wanted to talk about was this right here. So he can start his, he can start his snatch, but then react to dragon lash he can cancel his special moves which is no other, can you imagine if luke could do charging uh you know heavy uh flash knuckle and then he just stops and then you di he di's you back like can you imagine that 
Can you imagine that? Can you imagine Ken got in the Dragon Land stance and then just like stood up? Uh, good forward throw. Um, this is so okay. So this is also very important. My bad. I shouldn't. Be, I shouldn't be jumping. Um, I I think the charge version will only go through normal fireballs. There there might be an EX version that can go through EX fireballs. That's that's just what a, that's just what I'm assuming. But at the same time, this move doesn't look that useful. Not saying it will never be useful, but you have to you have to charge it in a way. So it's kind of like a your opponent needs to just be stupid and not pay attention or understand that Ed has a full screen fireball counter and throw this this move might be very useful in like diamond or even on modern if he doesn't have to charge it on modern. EX snatch immediately bounces. We saw later in the video that he has to charge it. And then it snatches. What does that remind you of? Luke's knuckles, right? Luke, perfect knuckle, boop. You know, the launcher. Or you can spend the two bars for the EX for the instant launch. And then, you know, continue your combo. Back throw. Now, this right here, this I did lab. Um, I can show you real quick. You can do this with every character, right? This isn't an Ed specific thing. Um, as many people were like, hype up about it. I did want to... I did want to show off that if your opponent DPs and you DP after your opponent, you'll beat your opponent. You know, it's not, uh, sometimes that happens. Uh, sometimes you'll hit each other and sometimes you're bad. Sometimes you'll hit each other. Sometimes you're good. Right. Sometimes. Right. And then sometimes they'll hit you. So it is possible, um, to DP the opponent. If they DP, if you think they're going to DP. Right. It is it is possible. This, so that's not too crazy. I think they're showing that maybe Ed has a more built-in timer to counter wake up DPs, but at the end of the day, it's still a read. So I don't know why you would spend uh you know two bars to anti DP somebody's DP when you can, you know do that much damage, right? So that 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 stuff is kind of overrated. Uh let me let me pull in Ken here because this is important for the next part of the video. Uh, this is the part for the next part of the video. Yeah, so so yeah, so you can DP the opponent if they DP, right? They can't. You can't DP the opponent if they DP. Very important. So this right here, right? This right here, this right. That's what that's what I want to talk about. 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 How the fuck you go back like a frame? So as you see here, Ken does medium kick, and Ed is pretty far away, right? If you look, um, I wish there was a way to move by like the frame. There might be, but I'm just like bad. Possibly, I'm just bad. So, boom. Right, boom. Ken misses. Ed counters him. Well, I did this as well in training mode. And let me tell you something right now. Um, oh, whoopsie. Fuck, I messed up the recording. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, wait, wait. No, that's not what I do. There we go. Sorry. Brain's all over the place today. All right. Look at that. Doesn't hit, right? Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. I think what Capcom is trying to say is like, Ken, or not Ken, um, Ed standing heavy punch is about to be the best normal in the game. I think that's what they're saying. Because what does Ed standing punch remind you of? You know what Ed standing punch reminds me of that a lot of people like to complain about. A lot of people like to complain about a certain button in the game that with punishes fucking everything in the game. What is that button? You know, even even this one whips, right? Even this one whips on Ken. Even Luke's God Bun of Crouching Medium Punch whips on Ken's Crouching uh, crouching Medium Kick. This button's not that good. This button, dude, I'm telling you right now, this button right here, Ed Standing Heavy Punch, is about to be fucking nutty. Everybody's about to get hit with Punish by Standing Heavy Punch. Into EX Snatcher, right? We talked about the EX. But this has a different property than the other EX Snatcher to where this one launches them in the air. I think this deals with if you EX and then you hold it, right? I think if you EX and hold, you get the toss up. And I think if you just press it, you get the bounce. We don't know yet. It could be it could be the alternate. And then Edge Drive Rush, right? They show off his Drive Rush. He has a decent Drive Rush, which, goes into, which then goes into the Command Dash, which goes into his shitty Ender. This is also what is very important. And this is what I wanted to talk about the most. This is very important. So as many of you know, right? 
one character in the game has a fireball that you can do, uh, you know, double fireballs, right? Boom. This is all Luke gets. All Luke gets is 750 damage, right? All Luke gets is 750. Hard knockdown, nothing. Nothing crazy, but it does cost three bars, right? It does cost three bars. Right, you can't get it. And also, it has to be like a read. <laughs> you know, it has to be like, it has to be like a read. Right? And I don't even think that's a punish. Um. Yeah, it's not even a punish, right? So, Luke has to spend three bars to spend, you know, one EX and then one follow-up EX. But that's all he gets, right? He gets 750 damage. Fucking Ed Boy here might have to spend three bars. Because if you look at the Sony... Um, move list, it doesn't look like Luke's, I believe, uh, cause I, Luke's has, yeah, Luke's has this fatal shot, right? As you see, it says plus one. Ed's doesn't have that w one bar. It just has the two, and then it says, like, oh, you can throw the fucking fireball if you press, like, punch again. Cause Luke is currently the only person who can really use three bars on most of his moves, right? Can you stop? Can you, can you stop? Hey, brother, can you... Can you stop? Right? Because Luke, Luke can spend, you know, meter like this. Three bars like that. I forgot he was fucking set to do that. Three bars like that. And three bars like that, right? Luke can, Luke can spend three bars in a lot of ways. So it's possible that Ed Boy might be able to spend three bars. But this is the difference. This is the difference. Is that people like... People like Ken, you know, can do that, right? They have to. They they also have to spend three bars to do shit, right? They also have to spend three bars in order to uh, to do this and then into that. However, Ed Boy, as you see, after he does his EX fireball, which they show this is an EX fireball because Ken does a normal fireball. Like I said, Capcom does everything specific. After Ed does his EX Fireball, he then can do his Command Dash, which spends no meter, which means maybe if it is only two bars or three bars, right? Now he's not at a net negative, and then he can get a launcher, and he definitely could do something after that, right? He purposely just went for the shimmy, just to show you that he has shimmies and that his medium punch links into his heavy punch, I feel like. But this is very, very... Important. Also, the cross-up, uh, we're not really going to talk about that. It is a cross-up. Uh, how the hell does he punch behind his back? The world may never know. This is what I really want to know more about, is if Rashid's level 2 and Ed's level 2 clash, do they erase each other? Um, that's very important. Uh, you're able to charge up the Snatcher. It does a total of 7 hits, I believe, uh, if, if I counted it correctly. 7 hits, and then he does a weak combo ender. But, the, this is... Okay, so this is also what I want to talk about. This this was coming way the fuck later, right? This is one of the first things. Was that Ed, he has a Snatcher, but he has a quick version uh, that can punish counter, which leaves the opponent dazed. Very similar to, uh, I believe, like a Jamie heavy kick. Um, I think that's the I think that move has like the same property. Which he can pick up with Driver's Crouching. I'm pretty sure it's like his Crouching Medium Kick. But his Crouching Medium Kick is special cancelable. Right before we saw it in a target combo, but he's canceling the low, which we hope is a low. He's canceling the low into the command dash, which then can lead into a into a target combo of some sort. I believe that's a target combo, or it's, or it's a special move, um, like this. Like that might be his flicker, right? I think that I think that's his one, two, three, possibly in this game. Uh, which then leads into his level 3, which is one of the coolest level 3s in the game. So, that's really what I want to talk about with Ed. Was that he has everything a character needs. He has good mobility, right? Luke has good mobility, right? With his driver. He has a good whip punish, right? Luke has a decent whip punish with his standing heavy punch. But, you know, if you whiff your 35 frames of fucking... You know, your 35 frames done. Luke's crouching medium punch. St Ken standing heavy punch doesn't even hit Ken's crouching medium kick. Uh, you know, I mean, there are buttons, right? There are there are buttons that can punish it, right? I mean, we're not gonna act like it's unwhip punishable, right? It's not. We're not gonna we're not gonna act like that. But I mean, Luke stand heavy punch unless you hit Ken himself. Um. All well, right. 
No, I lied. Okay. Luke, no, Luke stand. No, okay. Yeah, see, like, it can miss, but it has a lot of forward reaching momentum. Damn, this button's so good. But it does miss if you, like, are only over the leg area, right? Where it looks like, where it looks like Ed's will not. Uh, can or, you know, Ed also has the, the three bar, you know. Ed can now win Fireball Wars, which is good against Guile, which is good against DJ, which is good against Chun-Li. Very good, right, to throw out a three bar, possibly three bar Fireball, and then just Command Dash behind that bitch. Uh... I don't know. Ed looks like he's everything. He's everything that people hate put into one character. Does that make sense? He's he has sways. He has good fireballs. It looks like he has good buttons. He has a level two that can control the screen. Why is that important? Because they're probably gonna try to parry it. And if you push them out, then you can punish counter them with a grab. There's so much that Ed Boy can do. If his drive rushes fast and can beat JP's projectiles, this character is gonna be top one. If he has a fast drive rush that can beat JP's projectiles, he's top one. But that's the end of this video. I hope you, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't the most organized video. I can understand that. Uh, just a lot. There's a lot to cover. I don't have an editor, so I'm so sorry. I wanted to make sure I got it all within a decent amount of time. But if you like the video, please subscribe button, comment down below, leave a like, and I'll see y'all again when Ed drops. See ya.